Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, this um, this video is going to be about a, a lot of people nowadays feel entitled. So this could be you. This could be maybe people you're dealing with. People think that everything should be easy. That you don't have to work for anything. You know, let's just say for example, let's say somebody wants to like start a YouTube channel. They expect to have 100,000 subscribers in a week. But not post. But not post any videos. <laughs> it takes work. It takes effort. And this is also within jobs. Like a job search, finding a job. You know, if you put out one application and say, oh, they, nobody ever called me back and nobody's hiring. I mean, you're being unrealistic. Keep trying. Call back. See if they received your resume. See if they received your application. I mean, everything, anything worth doing is probably not going to be easy. You know, most people don't, don't find success when they're 18. Most don't, but they, but they're hopeful, but they work towards it. They have somewhat of a goal, even if their goals change many times throughout the years, they're still working towards something. So what counts is, okay, so you're, it's not like, okay, I have a five-year plan. If I don't accomplish all of these things in the next five years, then I'm a loser. You know, things happen in life. Things, you know, things stumble us. All sorts of things happen in life for any of us, whether it's early on or later on. You know, there's some people who believe that their lives are perfect and they have everything that they could ever wish for. And then, you know, maybe a wife leaves you or a husband leaves you and now you have to start over, you know? There, there's a lot of things that can happen in life, but trust and believe it's all a part of your path. So we have, so a lot of people will email me asking me, Jamie Zebra 23, when will I meet my soulmate? Well, if you haven't been on a date ever or in 20 years, probably not anytime soon. If you're not social at all and you never leave your house, and you refuse to go on a dating site either. So pretty much it's just you and the TV. You're probably not going to meet anybody. So just go back and think now. How many of you have, you know, are, are let's say 30, you know, 25 to 30. How many girlfriends or boyfriends have you had? How many of those boyfriends or girlfriends are you with currently? Are you with the first person you ever dated? Are you with the second person you ever dated? Are you with the third person, the fourth person? Just think about it. But many of you now are currently happily married or with the love of your life. Aren't you glad you had all of those disappointments, heartbreaks, or situations that just didn't work out? Aren't you happy for those things? How many of you got fired from a job? Got fired, quit from jobs. But now, you have the job that you want or you're a business owner. Do you think you would have gotten where you were without those disappointments and those letdowns? How many of you do you think if, you know, you wouldn't have cut certain people off? If they would, if you would have allowed them to linger in your life, whether this is family members, friends, lovers, if you would have just let them kind of linger in your life how many and those of you that are in a good place now do you think if you would have let those people linger in your life things would have been going so great um a lot of times people they don't realize what blessings are so when you ask somebody what are sometimes when i deal with negative clients <clears throat> i'll ask them straight off the bat i got a question for you can you name three blessings that you've received this week um, I've only had to maybe ask this of two people. I, I usually don't get negative people. I only, the only negative people I ever encounter are people who don't purchase things and who write hate comments or crazy emails in my email box. But I've never had a bad experience with somebody that I did a reading for and I do lots of reading. So it's kind of crazy. Yeah. But anyway, I, I prefer it that way. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, I have to ask some people, you know, can you tell me some of your blessings? They're like, no. I don't, I never, I never got a blessing. Nothing, nothing good's happened. I'm like, well, aren't you breathing? Couldn't you afford to get a reading with me? Are you homeless? No, I own my own house. Okay. 
do you have a job? Yeah, I own my own business. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> They're like, yeah, I own my own business and it's successful. Okay. Are any of those things considered blessings? Because you know the universe could gladly take them away if you'd like. So we all have to count our blessings and be thankful. And you know, when I, when I post these videos, <clears throat> this isn't just about you guys. <clears throat> There's been many times where I've had to take a deep breath and reevaluate things because maybe I wasn't in the right state of mind. I remember um, a few weeks ago, I posted a video about, um, please be patient. I upload all 12 Zodiac signs. I don't upload five. Please be patient. They're coming. <clears throat> and somebody commented on there, you know, Jamie Zebra 23, I think it's an ultimate compliment that people are excited to get your videos, don't you think? And I thought about that. So instead of me thinking I'm being hounded, and somebody's making demands of me, I need to put it into perspective and look at, wow, people really enjoy my work. This is a blessing. This is not a burden. And I, I really got an opportunity to look at that. <clears throat> also, um, I had an incident where, where somebody uh, posted something. You know, they sent me something kind of wild through email. And I, and I took it as though they meant something negative when I think that they were just trying to to give me a heads up and I I didn't post their name or anything <clears throat> but I posted and you know FYI this or that and the person messaged me and told me that they were crying hysterical and that I had hurt their feelings so bad I felt so guilty I removed the post I apologized I think this was maybe four months ago and I still think about it and I'm like oh my goodness if I'm impacting people this way I really need to watch myself because the last thing I ever want to do is be the cause of someone else's misery. Of course, I'm, if I'm being attacked, I will attack back. But if somebody meant no harm to me at all whatsoever, I don't want to be the cause of someone's burden. And because I won't ever really know for sure if I am or not, I am going to choose to conduct myself a little differently. Just out of respect for everybody because that's how I would want to be treated. But so apart from that, so I just don't want you guys to think, oh, who is Jamie Zebra 23 to tell us to count our blessings? No, no, no. I, I get, you know, I'm having epiphanies day by day. Thanks to many, thanks to many of you on YouTube. Um, but, uh, but like I was saying, so the universe can gladly take things away that you would consider to be a blessing at any time. <clears throat> you know, the universe over the years, they put me in timeout several times. I've gotten a spiritual spanking numerous times. I, I promise I'll be good. <laughs> so I so I get it 100%. So just try to be mindful that sometimes in life we've got to work for the things that we want. And I understand that this gener generation is full of people who want instant gratification. <clears throat> they want to be rewarded right now. They don't want to be rewarded after the work is complete. They want to be rewarded for showing up. So please understand that that's not how the real world works. Maybe in a rap video it works that way, but not in real life. You know, the ranting and the raving that you see, you know, the hype on the rap videos or love and hip hop, in real life that won't fly. And in fact, the men and women of love and hip hop are seeing that because a lot of sponsors don't want them anymore. They, they won't sponsor somebody who's conducting themselves that way. And that's just, it's not just... I mean, even, even Fox News is suffering. You know, no, nobody wants to sponsor that garbage. If you're a white supremacist, nobody wants to sponsor your, your, <laughs> your KKK speech. So just, you know, all of us keep that, be mindful and just keep that in mind. You know, the universe can offer us so many blessings and there's millions of rewards that we could all receive. So let's be thankful for the things that we do have. Let's stop seeking instant gratification when it comes to growing anything, growing ourselves, growing our businesses. I even have people that contact me and they're like, Jamie Zebra 23, I, do, I meditate, I do all my chakra work, I do this, I do that. And how come I'm not like the top psychic in the world? Because it doesn't work that way. You, you can only get as lightened as far as you can go. It's kind of like somebody's like, you know, uh, how come I only grew to five feet tall? Because that's the height you were supposed to grow to. But maybe in the next lifetime, you might grow to six feet tall. 
You know, it doesn't mean that in, li- in this lifetime you can't grow some more. Maybe you're not done growing. But, you know, we're, it's, not, it's not that we're born and then two days later we're a full-grown man or woman. You know, it's steps, just, just like birth. Birth to adulthood. So maybe some of you are at, you know, spiritually at an adolescence phase. And sometimes life experience can trigger some things. I know that when um, I was going through the worst time in my life a few years ago, I mean, I've always had gifts. I've always been spiritual. I've always had, you know, what I've had my entire life. But I got jump-started to a whole new level about two years ago. Big, big, big time level. And then, you know, it stayed kind of the same. And then it's expanded, but expanded as at, at a much smaller rate, which is what I wanted. Because trust and believe, that was a big thing. Um, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't mean that your work is for nothing. Continue your work, but understand that maybe you might not be able to handle the next level just yet. You've got to crawl before you walk. All right, Jamie Zebra 23, ta-ta for now.